right guys, welcome back to the vlog. First thing you might have noticed is the by 10 steelies are back on. I just threw them back on because I was bored yesterday, but actually the fact that I threw them back on uh, really makes me miss how wide they were. Honestly, I never fully gave them a chance and actually bought smaller tires for them and to slam this thing. So I'm thinking if I should do that, let me know. If any of you guys got a legit fender roller that you want to help me out with and let me use, DM me on Instagram. But that's not what this video is about today. I have this fender mirror that was on the other side before some idiot had backed up into my fender and dented it. So I had to get a new one, of course, with this one having pen stripes and everything. But Regardless, this one's back on, so I'm going to drill two holes on, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Since that one is already on, I'm going to show you guys how to like measure it and everything so that you're able to throw it back on. For anybody who doesn't know, I mean, it's pretty simple, but I figure I've been really slow lately, so even doing something like this would be a cool video to show you guys, so that's what I'm going to do. So, first things you're going to need are your extension cable, your drill, your drill bits, your fender mirror, obviously, and the bolts that will be going underneath the fender to hold it in place. Oh yeah, and obviously you're gonna be needing your ruler, but in this case, I don't have a ruler. I got a big ass yardstick, so a big ass yardstick. Now mine are some cheap fender mirrors. I got them off eBay, but I am gonna be getting some more expensive ones, some little nicer looking ones in the future. But yeah, if you wanna get some cheap eBay ones, but yeah, if you just want some basic cheap ones, I got them off eBay. They were like 40 bucks, I believe, and they don't look that bad. I do want some nicer looking ones in the future. So I'm gonna have to jack up the truck, just so that way when I screw in the holes, I will be able to put in the bolts underneath to hold the mirror down. Alright, so I raised it up so that way I could take off this mirror and the only reason for me taking off the mirror, I'm going to measure exactly where the holes are so that I line it up exactly perfect. Alright, so I took this one off, it's all kind of dirty from being there for so long. Now I can use the ruler to see exactly where the holes are <clears throat> I'm connecting them right here next to the hood since this has a little curve and it's not going to be exactly correct. And this actually has the lines, so I'm going to put that, line that up like right there. And that way I'll be able to see. That's where the first dot's going to be, and then I'm going to have the second one right after that. I will find that one out as soon as I put on the mirror. But now is kind of the sketchy part, the drilling. So since I already have the holes, I'm going to see what sizes they were. Bigger one, I think it was. And that one's perfect. So, it looks like it was a one-fourth. Yeah, be careful when you do this. The first time we did this, this happened. <laughs> Leah was drilling it, and it slid down. So, kind of messed up some of my paint. So, I got the first hole in, and <laughs> what I tell you, I scratched it up a little bit. But it's all good. You won't see it because the fender mirror will be on top of it. So now I'm going to get this fender mirror and throw it. And so now I'll know exactly where to put the pen. All right, now to test this, this I got both the holes. And they go in perfect. See that? Now all I need, I have the bolts over there. So I would go underneath, feel for the screws and bolt them right on. If you did all the measurements and everything correct, then you, it should match up perfectly and both your mirrors should be at the same distance. If you're not new to my channel, you know I usually don't do instructional videos because I'm not very good at them and I don't know as much car shit as some of my friends do, but I'm still trying my best. And also, let me know if you guys rather prefer those wheels. I know a lot of people like to steal these more because they don't really, aren't a fan of the Stereons, but I like the Stereons and I want to restore them. And I'm going to do that as well, but I might keep them as drift spares later on. But I kind of want to see how those Steelys look 
with the stretch tires and everything it's land. I want to give them a chance at least. But I mean, could you also blame me for wanting to get away from Steelys since they are kind of basic wheels? However, I do love the way the white looks with the color of my truck. White wheels and that cream color just go together so nicely. My bad, this video might be kind of short. I'm pretty much finished with this. I'm just going to throw on that mirror. Like I said, just throw on the bolts for those. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and like and you will see more of this build and more cinema cinematic videos that I do. As you guys know, I just bought a Ronin and maybe this Saturday I might be buying a new camera and also the camera is going to be coming with a mic so my audio will be a lot smoother, a lot nicer sounding. Uh, I'm going to sit here and stare at my cap crappy truck for a little bit. I'm just kidding. I mean, damn, look at that 4x4 off-road status. Holy crap, imagine if I went off-road. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. As always.